Yeah, you know what? I've been to many NFL training camps. Matter matter of fact, I'm here in uh, Flowery Branch, Georgia, uh, and and this is uh, the 2018 training camp, and it's number 40 for me. I started off covering training camps with the Cincinnati Bengals back in uh, Wilmington, Ohio. Okay, and back then they used to train in these uh, these little dumpy little like uh, it was like a like a barracks. Actually, it was a college campus, but it was brutal. All right, and it was just hard hitting and and all that sort of thing. They practice forever, but now you got this luxurious type setup here. You know, you got this nice building there, and and they're practicing for about 90 minutes, and that's going to be it. This is the first day of training camp. You got another building here for the media, and and back when they used to cover the Oakland Raiders, a media a building for the media. Are you kidding me? The Oakland Raiders back in the early 1980s trained up at Santa Rosa, California, and it was a real, it was a nice setup and what have you, but uh, it was. You know, basically, they put football fields behind the old this old motel, all right? The San Francisco 49ers back then, the same type of thing in Rockland, California. So we're, it's come a long way. And I'm going to tell you all about this in a podcast that I'm going to do. I'm going to talk to Jake Matthews. Jake Matthews has been here for four years with the Atlanta Falcons. He's an outstanding left tackle for them. He's got a whole history of training camps lineage going back to his great-grandfather, actually his, his grandfather, then his father, then his uncle. They all played in the NFL forever. He's going to tell us about how training camps have changed. I've seen it myself, but he's really going to tell you about it. So stay tuned.